Welcome to CPAC Unidos. Bienvenidos a CPAC Unidos. We're here at CPAC Mexico. It has been an incredible day. I cannot believe I am still functioning. But I ran into a dear friend, someone who is fighting the good fight in the Dominican Republic, Fernando Abreu, the president of Patria Libre. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, we kept deciding, should we do it in Spanish or English? So we're just going to do it Our, in Spanglish, yeah. okay? Is okay, that a big deal? Is, that's good. All right, so <laughs> what's happening in the Dominican Republic? Tell us the latest. I mean, obviously, you've seen your country go through the ups and downs yes. of different governments and really what's how it's impacted the people. Yes, um... Throughout the history of the DR, there's always been a center-left uh, parties and government. But uh, people sometimes are confused because they see we have economic growth. Yeah. But uh, that's the reason for that is because we have a dual system. We have a system in which we have heavy, high taxes, but we have low taxes on some sectors. Oh, like interesting. Like tourism. Okay. Like yeah. economic free zones, yeah. uh, the border zones. Where are the high taxes? In and, property and, or anything uh, else? High taxes are in all of the sector except for four okay. sectors. Okay. Construction, some, a part of industry, a part of construction, uh, tourism, and economic uh, zones. Yes, yeah. that's export, export, export. So right. that's why it sort of works, but then the rest are, are killed uh, tax-wise. It's... Yeah. It's a it's an awful like invasion of their private property and money. Uh, the total amount of taxes and contribution percentage wise against earnings is forty nine percent. Oh my god! The state, the Dominican state, takes forty nine percent. I think our federal government. I mean, between our federal government and state yeah, government, it's you, about you the do, same it, in it the depends. United States. In California, you you pay more than oh, the yeah. Now. I mean, well, and in New York, in New York, oh, too. New York is yeah. horrible. Yeah. I got to ask you. Um, you know, you're here at CPAC yes. Mexico. What brought you here, and uh, why do you think it's so important for the Latin American countries to? come together and, and really have these important conversations and take actions for change in their countries. Since we are forming uh, the first right-wing conservative party in the uh, mm -hmm. Dominican Republic, the first real one. Uh, what happened to the old one? There, or there never there, really was there, one? There, were, there, were, there was never a real old one. Oh, okay, but, okay. Th but since some parties are so socialist and Marxist, they called a centrist called Balaguer yeah. uh, uh, right wing, but he actually wasn't a right wing. The, yeah, the, yeah. the guy even uh, did expropriations. He had high taxes. He, he run. He had government run companies. That's all leftist yeah. and crap. Yeah. But um, since we're forming this uh, new right party, uh, which we're 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 being we're ha having a lot of impact right now, uh, we think it is very crucial to have international relations. Mm. Why? Because we have to do the smart, the few smart thing the left has done, yeah. which is alliances, Same. which is coming alliances. together. Mm -hmm. We in the right have been wor worldwide very alone, isolationist in, yeah. in our in our relationships to other uh, countries. And in, in, the, in the unification comes the strength. So they have common goals. They have uh, common strategies. For example, they have Foro de Sao Paulo. Same. They have Grupo Puebla. Yeah. They have the World Economic Forum, for the Schwab Forum. What is Grupo they Puebla? Have, Grupo Puebla is the renovation of the Sao Paulo Forum, okay. which and there's the Castros, uh, Cuba, sí. Maduro, Venezuela, Nicaragua, uh, Ortega. Uh, you have also there now Petro, mm -hmm. uh, Colombia, all the leftists. You have their Lula, you have their Boric. That's the group of Puebla. All of the new socialist dictators that they they they, they did did this new brand just because the old Foro de Sao Paulo was to market wise was too damaged really Cause, yes because yeah. it, it was the dictators of cuba and venezuela yeah, exactly. so their market so what did they do they rebranded they rebranded and in top of socialism uh -huh. they put progressivism ah, so so they're now wow. so it's they're economically socialist but in in um and social, culturally it, social, social. Yeah, I mean, so culture, but in social issues like yeah. abortion, uh, LGTB agenda, gender ideology, climate change, Black Lives Matter, racist, modern racist crap, all of the, those stuff, they they have that agenda 
alongside the socialist stuff. Tell me, Biden, administ Biden yeah. Harris administration, they've been in power for three and a half years. What has been their relationship with the Dominican Republic? They have a good relation with the current government. Yeah. Um, I can't blame the current government for having a good relations because even if I'm a right wing and since it's the states, you have to have a good di diplomacy, but it yeah. doesn't mean I agree with them. No, of course. I, I detest what, what they are doing. And I'm yeah. saying this is the United States. I hope they don't cut me out of the visa uh, or whatever. Yeah. Um, I take risks. That's part, part of being a conservative. You have to take yes, risks because yes. everything is dominated by the left. So there's, yeah. not, there's yeah. not another way. But uh, yes, uh, record inflation with uh, Biden under Biden and Bidenomics and now Kamalanomics because she, she yeah. inherited all that and she supported all of that. She supported that knowing that Biden wasn't mentally good, mm -hmm. knowing that, mm -hmm, which, mm -hmm. which says a lot about her. And yes. you have- It's called a cover up. Yes, They're and you up. have even very weak, weak growth. You, you had stagflation. You had two periods, which was mm -hmm. the definition that they tried to change, two period of economic decline in GDP. Mm -hmm. And now you're having what? Now you're having the jobs report going right. down. Right. And now you're having the economic uh, stock market bubble because yeah. of the job reports, which last week it was um, reviewed. See? And it lost more than 800,000 jobs. That's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. So they it's, inflated the numbers. And, and they made it sound guys, everything is yes, great. Be yes. joyful. Yes, they inflation by, uh, just because of politics. I mean, they're not that different from Maduro. Okay, uh, I got to ask you a question here. So Haiti, yes, right next yes, to you. Yes, good question. Haiti has become a complete disaster. You yes. have, what, the cannibal now running the government. Yes. How does that impact gangs. how and gangs? Gans, I mean, it's, beca gans, it's, it's, it's become chaotic. Yes, I mean, it's, I, what, I, how is that impacting Dominican Republic? It's impacting in a very negative way. In a way, we have to be urgent in trying to resolve that, and uh, we need a wall, just like the Trump wall. Oh, interesting. We need a, yeah. a wall, and we need to go m more than that because I formally propose that we have to get uh, we have to get rid of and. Um, say bye-bye to all of the UN institutions, because yeah. they're the ones, they're the ones, and they're ONGs, like the Soros, yeah, yeah, the Soros, yeah. the Soros yeah. guys, and the United Nations agencies, all of them, UNICEF, all of them, they're the ones that have um, support these open borders yeah. policies, yeah. and they just want to, in their Marxist, neo Marxist logic, of class and race struggle, yeah. they want to equalize yeah. just by letting other poor countries in the th yeah. that, that's why it happens to you from yeah. mexico right to here the states that's that's why it happens to africa yeah. from europe right yeah. now in muslim countries they will in their struggle and marx's uh press versus oppressor narrative they they do all this immigration and um, multiculturalism yeah. stuff just because it fits their ideology, but really because it get them, it gives them power. Right. Because right. the more poverty you have, yeah. The more uh, population you have, yeah. The bigger government there is. Yeah. The bigger government checks there are. The bigger yeah. bureaucrats there are. The bigger the deep state yeah. is. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what we're why saying we have America. to be strong against it. We can't be center right. We have to be right right. Yeah. We, we, thank God. Trump is the one leading the Republican Party yeah. and not like a McCain or a... And, a, a, and yeah. you expand and build the movement. You bring your yeah. central, central right people in yes. and you expand the conservative the movement. The real right well. leading it. The yeah. real, uh, we, can't well, have, we can't have, in times of crisis, we need strong men. We need, and women, and, strong and, oh, men and women. And women. Yes. Like, like, like no tax, one like weak in spirit. Like exactly, tax. exactly. No, no weak spirits and, you know, we do need the strong, and men and women who are very brave. And something positive about you, uh, that's why I applaud where you doing because oh. uh, the CPAC is actually international it's not only in the states it's not only in Mexico I know it's in in Australia uh, I know the, even in some Europe Hungary and more places in the future and we're doing our big CPAC international summit in February it's nice. growing so much yes. and we have a huge international presence which we hope you join us yes, there as we're, well we're gonna be there we are gonna wrap up because they're gonna be closing up CPAC Mexico but Fernando thank you so much for joining thank me you. this was thank wonderful you. My, my pleasure great see and you soon. thank you all for watching again CPAC Unidos very involved in connecting Latin America especially to the Latin American voters in the United States, it is truly an honor to have been here in CPAC Mexico and we'll be giving you a lot more information as we uh, get even closer to the election. So thanks so much for watching.